Well, this is a, a mechanism left behind by the military junta. You know, they when they pick the men and women to draft the current uh, junta sponsored constitution, there is a clause there that says that the junta appointed senates will have a five year lifespan and they will join in a bicameral vote for the any new PM. So now we are in year four. Uh, and they have just decided that they will not support uh, Pita, the candidate from Move Forward Party. Was there any debate before? I understand there were hundreds of people who didn't even turn up. <clears throat> um, well, there were debates before. Actually, it took nine, the whole process today took nine hours. The focus was on the controversial Laissez Majesty law the royal defamation law where in Thailand, uh, you know, move forward is the only party which has pledged to amend the law, which they perceive as being draconian and against press freedom and against freedom of expressions. Uh, to bring it more in line to uh, constitutional monarchies like Japan or the United Kingdom. But the Senate said, well, you know, the Thai king should be held in a position of relevance and they argue that this amending the law will undermine the stature and the security of the monarchy institution itself so it was not unpredictable but a very sad day for the thai majority of the thai electorate who have placed trust in uh, Pita and move forward um, party. Yes, and it's you know it's a, a sad day for Thai democracy, as you point out. Uh, you know what is the likely response going to be? Are they going? Uh, I imagine the people who so overwhelmingly supported move forward are going to feel very angry. That's what we're keeping the fingers crossed in the hours and days as well as weeks ahead. Uh, but actually, the coalition will again. Okay, they have at least initially agreed that they will put Pita's name back and nominate him again uh, next Wednesday on July the 19th uh, for the second time and possibly for the third time if he felt for the second time on the following day on the on July the 20th. So maybe. Uh, the supporters may still want to just wait until next week before start to really get very radical. We don't know, but uh, but Thais are generally not like Parisian or the French, you know, the, what you saw in <laughs> Paris uh, recently. Uh, I, I still am doubtful if a similar thing would uh, take would place, but here. if a massive protest take place, there could be another, yet another military intervention and an attempted coup. We don't know at this stage. Yeah, and, and there's another issue that's brewing, and that's the Constitutional Court has accepted a recommendation from the Election Commission that Peter might be disqualified. So when will that be considered? Uh, the court, you're correct. The court has not set up a deadline. So we, we still have to keep our fingers crossed. It could probably be you know, a decision or ruling be made within the next few days, just prior to the second vote, then there'll be no need to vote because Pita then could face a disqualification as an MP, then, you know, the senator, the junta appointed senator would, would say then he's no longer fit to become a prime minister. And what's more, it could lead to the dissolution of the party. You know, there is a petition pending that the court has already accepted that whether amending the less and majestic law is uh, tantamount to trying to undermine the Thai democratic system with the king as the head of state or not. Well, you know, uh, Pravit, though, there's this just whiff of political manoeuvring against Peter, um, which seems, you know, setting up potentially, as you say, ma maybe not as big as the French, but certainly some form of protest from the Thai people. Well, it's happening r right now. It's not big yet. People have gathered outside the parliament today. Yesterday, there was a, some gathering at uh, four or five spots in the country. Um, we have to wait and see. But again, as I said, probably the protest leaders might still want to wait until next week just to make sure that Pita will never become prime minister uh, before unleashing all the angers. But yeah. the anger is that 
felt very strongly on the pro on the uh, social media, and some of these senators have to sneak out of the parliament. They literally fled on the, on, on, on the, uh, from the back door uh, just to make sure they're safe. No, yeah, not facing, not not having the courage to to face their decision making. But um, the former, you know, coup leader and prime minister Prayuth Chanocha, he has announced that he is stepping away from politics. Not really a surprise, is it? After nine years, you know, when he staged a coup back in May 2014, he wrote a song literally for the public saying that he only requests for a little more time. And <laughs> it has taken nine years and he will still currently uh, today and tomorrow until next week and possibly the next few weeks, he will still be the caretaker prime minister. Unbelievable. Pravit, very interesting times in Thai politics. Good to talk. Thanks. Pleasure.